Hey, Mr. Chef here. Today I'm going to be making meatloaf. It's very easy and very good. First thing we're going to do is put three pounds of ground chuck. Regular ground beef is too fatty. Ground round is not fatty enough. And so the ground chuck is just right. So you put it all together in a mixing bowl. Then you add two packages of onion soup mix. One. And two. Next I'm going to add two eggs. Okay, the next thing is the spices. A little salt. A little pepper. And some Grill Mates barbecue seasoning. Okay, that's about oh a tablespoonful, maybe a little more. Just guesstimate. Next, I'm going to add oh about an eighth of a cup of ketchup. Okay. And about an eighth of a cup of steak sauce. Any kind you want, doesn't matter. This is just what I had in the cabinet. And I add about a tablespoon of Dijon brown mustard. And then about a cup of Italian style breadcrumbs. Mm. That's about a cup. Okay, next you get in here, make sure your hands are clean, you mix it all together, mix it well, make sure everything gets mixed up in here because you don't want a clump of something in the center of your meatloaf. In the meantime, I have the oven preheating on 375. I know that's yucky, but you just can't do it with a spoon. Not even a big wooden spoon. You just got to get in there and do it. And you can put any kind of spices you want in it. You can put hot sauce in it. You can put cocktail sauce in it. Whatever you feel like. Just experiment. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. That's my daughter. <laughs> Hi. She's my helper today. <laughs> okay. Get it through the fingers. Make sure it's all mixed real well. Okay. Now, what we're going to do... Oops, I forgot to get my pan. on top of things. Alright. So, you kind of mash it together. You don't have to have a loaf pan. I prefer not to have a loaf pan because all the grease just sits and soaks back into it. So if you can use like a 9 by 13 pan, that's better. Or a flat pan. I generally use a flat pan if possible and just put foil to where it's stick sticking up. Kind of mush it together and you make it look like it was in a loaf pan. Okay. 
kind of mesh it together so you don't have any cracks when it's done. Kind of tuck around the edges. Because those little edges will get nice and crispy. So. Now you put it in the oven for looks like a brain. <laughs> <laughs> about 45 to 50 minutes. Then you take it out and then we're going to put something on top of it. And we'll discuss that later. Put it back in the oven for about 15 or 20 more minutes. Ready? Yeah. Now we take it out of the oven. Woo! Hot. Be very careful. Hot, hot, hot. Gorgeous. We're going to put honey barbecue sauce on top. That one's almost empty, so it's taking longer. You can put as much as you want. If you like a lot on there, put a lot on there. Okay, let me get the other one. I'll turn this one upside down. Use it later. That one's honey, honey hickory smoke. Come on, there it is. Cover it good. Alright, then you put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes. Ooh, hot, hot. Alright, you set your timer. And it's good to go. Okay. That looks good. Yum.